Well, I'm back. All right, and tonight we're taking another look at Pokemon Aegis, Aegis, whatever, however. <laughs> I make a joke out of it every episode, but it's not funny. I seriously cannot figure Aegis, Aegis. Pokemon Aegis, the sunset, sunlit lands. That's it. All right, it's a long name, but that's fine, man. Good game. Here we go. So I uh, trained all my Pokemon up. Uh, did some EV things that I'm not willing to show on screen because <laughs> you guys will think I, I have no life, which I do. I mean, I have a life, okay? I just play a lot of Pokemon as well, all right? Before you go inside, I want to make sure you are ready. Hera only takes one apprentice at a time, and you aren't the only applicant. I expect the selection process to be rather challenging. Are you certain you are ready for this? I don't need any more time to train. It's been like two months real time. Are you really? I have to make sure of that myself. Man, Dad, why are you always picking on me, man? Watch this, damn it, dude. Oh, 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 that's, that's nasty damage, man. Learns confusion level nine. That's why it's level nine. I'm gonna switch out. This thing gives a lot of experience and I really don't wanna have it all to myself. I'd like to swap a bit uh, in between a few. So once again, the, the the style set, whatever. I don't know. I, I I should probably look this up so it's not so it's not something I just I just don't know the answer to, you know. But anyway, the the Pokemon battles are you can't switch out in between trainers, okay? Which is pretty ridiculous. Makes it a little bit harder. Uh, I think the um, the creator of this game is assuming it's gonna make it a lot harder. But frankly. I mean, I guess it is. There's no way it's going to make it easier, but I don't think this is the right solution. Anyway, fair enough. I don't know why I doubted you. I guess it's a father thing. I wish you good luck, Arno. Yeah, you're going to fuck it. You're not going mean, to I got to need good luck, man. Not with this squad that I'm about to walk up in here with. Welcome to our dojo. You are here for the apprentice position, aren't you? The other challenges are in the back room already. Please proceed. All right, sure. Well, who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Hectobald. Wait, I work here. I've never seen you before. What is it that you do? I break stuff with my bare arms. Who? Ha! Ouch, my back. Leave, sir. Yes. So that's his ultimate sleuth skills, apparently. Kind of creeping on us. Not really getting what he wants out of that creep, though. Sometimes you got to creep, creep, you know? You got to creep. All right, so here we are. I press, I press A. And you are here because you want to become an expert in fighting type Pokemon, right? You are currently 32 in this room, but I will have to choose only one of you as an apprentice. This means there will be a selection process. Now you have many different levels of knowledge and experience regarding fighting types. Battle girl Lola, all caps, says, Or no level at all. Just look at the two standing near the entrance. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, I'd like to take on those two. Talk about perfect foils for my battling skills. However... Mastering the fighting types is not necessary for the challenge that awaits you. What I am looking for here is potential. This is why you will be allowed to use your own Pokemon for battle, whatever ty types they may be. This will truly allow me to judge the bond that you've created with your Pokemon, and to judge your team as a whole. <laughs> yeah, who's laughing? Wait. Who's laughing now? Clefairy, say hello to everyone. Ah, <laughs> right, she's got a fairy type. That's pretty OP. Now, I also want to judge your, fa your, facil your faculty of adaptation and team working skills, which is why I'm going to have you all pair up. You will then all battle each other in a series of double battles until only one couple remains undefeated. I give you one minute to choose your partner. Good luck all. Hey, my name is Sage and you're Arno. And you're Arno? So Arno, what do you say we show these people who the real pushovers are? Arno teamed up with Sage. Da -da -da -da. My Chansey and I will heal your Pokemon team between every fight. Time's up. Let the battle begin. Showtime. All right, so here we go, ma'am. She's gonna carry us, honestly, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna leech a lot of experience out of this. All right, I'm gonna do crazy damage, confusion, obviously super effective. Uh, but here you go, disarming voice, aoeing them down. Pretty pretty straightforward, you know. It's hard to uh, hard to dis dispute that this bitch is carrying. She's gonna aoe him down. Something proper. And that's that. It's gaining a lot, a lot of experience. And you can't actually change out. And since it's whatever the, the battle way is, like, you can't change Pokemon in between. So I'm pretty much stuck with this one. Like, this is the only Pokemon I, I'm going to be able to bring out. Unless it dies or make a switch. 
Each of you has now battled once, so let the second round begin. Oh, look, Toby, it's the scrubs. How did they get through, 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 though? Their opponents must have felt too much pity for them. What's wrong with these people? Don't they know what a Clefairy is? No, they probably have no idea. They probably never played the original games. That's a big issue. You know, if you never played... Oh, use Leer. Not a very good not a very good play. Um, but anyway, that's that's that. So now we're going to just one-shot them. All right, watch this, man. But yeah, if you never played Pokemon Red, you probably don't even know what a Clefairy is. Because it's, it's arguably not a good Pokemon. In fact, it, it was even worse. But uh, it's all right now because of the, the generation, the fairy type. Uh, but I don't know if it actually even learns fairy moves. I mean, it, it obviously learns disarming voice. But I don't know what else. I haven't really played with the Clefairy. You guys tell me, is Clefairy uh, worth using? Should I go back? Uh, obviously, oh, man, I wish they'd re-update Red again. <laughs> I wish they make Fire Red too. So I'm going to take Light Scream. Uh, it, it served me pretty well in Pokemon Rejuvenation and Reborn. There's some definite cases for it, uh, especially in double battles like here. So, yeah, we'll rock with it. As it turns out, trash talking isn't very effective against us. Good job, Arno. Halfway there. There are only four couples left. Congratulations for getting this far. But seven of you will still walk out of here very disappointed. Are the next battle is ready? Fieto! What does that mean? Does that mean, um... Oh man, is that is that uh, go in Italian? I think it's go in Italian. You guys tell me. I can't. I, I I didn't do very well in Italian. I took Italian for five years, and all I learned how to say was pizza. So yeah, I, I really don't know. I, I really um I was just I slept with the teacher, so she gave me a, a hundred percent. You know? No, I'm just kidding. They didn't even offer Italian at my school, dude. Come on. I live in the United States. Get the fuck out of here. What kind of joke was that? It wasn't even funny. It doesn't even matter though because just, we just sweep in the field, man. Swe sweep in the field, you know? Look at that. We're gonna. I'm just gonna switch out because I'm just. I'm just sweeping so hard. It's not fair. It's really unfair, you know. I think he learns that. Yeah, he's got a wing attack already. So there you go. Sweep. Easy. Great teamwork. We have our first finalists. They're getting slightly tougher, but it'll take a lot more than that to shake us. I have to say, all four of you have shown a great potential. You're clearly out you've clearly outshone the rest of the competition. Good luck to both teams, and may the best win. That's the girl with the Clefairy. Sounds like we're at a tight disadvantage. You know what? That'll only make victory sweeter. <laughs> well, you're gonna lose. I wonder if you can even lose this. I, I don't even think it's possible to lose. Uh, in fact, I really don't want to let him get too high. Ducklet can come in, just do some swing attacks. Just gonna hit it big, you know? It's gonna hit real big. Here here we go, watch this. Swing attack! Oh, I didn't kill him? Come on. Come on. What is this? Hit him with that. Come on, Scraggy, that thing's done. Swing attack! Look at that, man. Show oh, that's a crit and it still doesn't finish him. And look like I gotta do more some some more EV training, man. It's level 12 though, I guess that's the difference there. It's level 11 now. Uh oh, sock 'em, sock 'em, rock 'em, robots, dude. Watch this, watch this swing attack, man. Look at the damage. Focus Ember, or focus energy? What? Get out of here with that. Swing attack, sock done, failed. No, it hit. Yeah, it hit. It hit. Look at that. Look at that beast play, man. Level 12, level 13, water pulse as well. That's pretty wild. This should be his last Pokemon though, and then we're then we're gonna walk away. Victor Oh no, he's got throw. Throw. T-H-R-O-H. Throw. Throw. He's got he's got throw. We're just gonna hit him with wing attack. Swing attack. Look at that man. Swing. That's fucking the that's the bell. That's the victory bell ringing right there, boys. Nice battle. Unfortunately, there can only be one winner. May I ask the team who lost to fuck off? I need to give their instructions to the two. The, I need to give their instructions to the two remaining challengers. These instructions? Some instructions? Now you both were clearly above the lot. I'd almost want to make both of you. I'd almost want to take both of you as apprentices. Still, selection creates competition, and competition creates self-improvement. As a fighting type master, I feel it is my duty to make you realize your full potential. And one way to do that is to pit you against each other. I must say, I was quite surprised to see you both not using any fighting type Pokemon. 
Of course, it was a perfectly legitimate and effective strategy. Nonetheless, I expect you came here with a purpose, so this leaves me wondering as to what it is you expect to be learning here. I myself am an ancient fighting gym leader, and my style of battling hasn't deviated much since. I use almost exclusively fighting type Pokemon in battle. This dojo is focused on learning battling techniques using fighting type Pokemon. You won't learn much about other types here. Well, I can't answer for Arno, but I used to be a monk at the temple. As you know, the use of either contact or fighting type moves in battle is prohibited by our laws. We are also we are also aren't allowed to fight using fighting types. I see a Sintai monk. I feel honored to be in such high presence. But if you're here, it me it mean that. Well, I certainly broke some rules, and I don't think I would be welcome at the temple anymore. But I did what I thought was a necessity. The Sintahi monks live isolated from the outside, and most won't care for what is currently happening in the region, as long as it doesn't affect them. After Winona's disappearance, the Sintahi lost their biggest supporter, Sintari. Sintari lost their biggest supporter, and many felt as if they had become orphans. The monks at the temple didn't think this was a significant event, didn't realize the implications that this could have on our community. I, however, saw a need for my people to intervene and to try and change the course of things. A war is currently taking place between different factions, and the Centauri haven't chosen any sides. Whichever the winner, it seems we will be the losers in the end, unless we fight to defend our rights. Since I voiced my concern to my super superiors at the temple, they made me understand I did not belong with them anymore. As a monk, I contribute to this ward by accumulating knowledge and wisdom. This type of knowledge and wisdom this dojo provides to what its apprentices seemed important to me, even though it transgressed the rules I lived in. As for now, wow, this is a lot of fucking talking. I haven't actually caught a fighting type Pokemon yet. Somehow I am still scared to do so, even though I don't belong to the order anymore. I did teach a few contact moves to my Pokemon though. Learning to overcome that fear of transgressing rules is one thing I hope to learn. Indeed, our enemies won't be held back by that fear, so it seems vital we aren't either. I see. You made a very courageous decision by speaking out to your peers about your views. Uh, courage is obviously a quality I admire. And what about you, Arno? Say you just got your trainer's license. Interesting. I do like to teach beginners. They generally learn fast. Besides, this is preferable to get rid of all your misconceptions about fighting types early on. That way they will have less time to settle on your mind. Now, as I said, I want you to battle against each other. This door to your right leads to the bottom floor. The fight will take place there. When in doubt, remember to keep trying. Maybe the solution will offer itself to you then. What? There are many qualities useful for the fighting type trainer. Conviction and patience are two of the most important. Do not let doubt flood your mind. If you want a chance to make it, you first need to convince yourself that it is possible. That's a very true statement, man. What was that? Ah, uh, well, we shall see. Arno, I can't wait to face you and your Pokemon. See you downstairs. Yeah, you will, man. You will. But, man, I got some levels, man. I got some levels now, dude. Level 14, the cap's 20. So I'm flying. I assume this is like, I don't know. Is this like the first gym, quote unquote? Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to have to go hardcore D-level some Pokemon. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this is how you do this. It's, it looks like a puzzle, but it's actually a riddle as the uh, the thread, uh, the creator of the game pointed out in the thread. You obviously got to get to that door. But if you paid attention to what uh, the dojo person said, uh, watch this. Nothing happened. Do you want to try again? Why would I try again? You know what I mean? That makes no sense. Why would I do it again? But she did let us know that if you press it, I'm pretty sure it's nine times, uh, it, it eventually opens, as you see there, all right? So that's that. Uh, now, it's funny how the, um, the the individual we're about to fight uh, reacts to this. How did I get here? I just jumped over the balcony rails. Why? What did you do? Oh, there was a door? I missed that. So, like, yeah, we we couldn't jump over the... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> well done, well done. So both of you managed to find your way to this room eventually. The labyrinth was only a pretext to test your determination, since the only difficulty was pressing a button which apparently yielded no results. As for you, Sage, jumping over the balcony rails, how bold of you. This is the first time someone did this. I'm actually quite impressed. This should almost be worth extra points. Enough talking. I want to see you battle, and I don't want either of you to be holding anything back. Take position. 
Fieto! Thank you! Ah, here we go. Alright, so we're gonna go right to Poison Sting. I did a lot of uh, physical attack training, so this should really wreck havoc on this guy. Uh, now that I got him poisoned, I'm just gonna go for... Actually, Bug Bite's not very effective, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I was just kidding. We're gonna stick with Poison Sting. It's gonna do about the same damage. Uh, yeah. Became nimble, soft-boiled, not good. Heals are gonna make this pretty tough. I did find out that you can't actually win this. I guess it's not that difficult to win. A lot of people have seemed to do it. The first time through, though, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's really difficult to take out these Pokemon, uh, especially since she uses so much heals. Like, healing items, and then, of course, uh, you know, soft-boiled on this and the Chansey and, and other stuff. As you see, it's just a super annoying thing to have to deal with. Uh, but I do get a crit there, kind of evens the scales. Sweet kiss, luckily it missed. Uh, last time I fought her, she used um, that that, ability, that bug move that powers up all your stats. Can't remember. Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance. So this is a Psychic type. So I should be able to one-shot it with Bug Bite, which I don't. It barely survives. Stored Power going to do decent damage. Is super effective, but doesn't matter. Easy game right there. Beedrill going to town. Level 12. Uh, next up is Adino. I am going to... Well, I guess there's no real reason to switch. I keep forgetting. Sweet Kiss. Going to be confused. Maybe I should switch. Going to hurt myself. Well, I guess I'll just die. No big deal. Uh, we'll go to Esper here. I like to just kind of power through this, and Esper is pretty strong right now. Confusion is going to do a good amount of damage. She is going to wish and heal up pretty shortly here. Wish is going to come true next turn. Yeah, there it is. Kind of annoying. Once again, a lot of heals. Uh, crit, fairy move, not very effective at least. Well, it's not super effective. Oh, I'm confused. That's pretty good. Wish, can I beat her in two turns? Doesn't look like it. We'll see, though. Hurt itself. Now I can. No, JK, that was... It's only one turn, I guess. It's only one full turn. I don't even know. I really don't know how it works. Uh, wish, bit a bit overpowered, I'd say. Hurt itself, that should be it for that. Adino down, level 15 now. Uh, I'm going to just keep going with this Pokemon. Chansey should give a good chance to do a lot of damage here. Defense curl shouldn't matter. Just going to keep confusion. Uh, Roland is confused. Maybe he'll hurt himself, and he does. Should do a decent damage there. Keep going to keep confusing. This is going to be a long battle. Especially if she gets some soft boils off, all right? So, uh, get get in here. <laughs> Just strap it in, boys. It's probably going to be the rest of the episode right here. In fact, I am going to uh, speed it up to 4.0 because this is going to take a fucking while, man. And I'm just going to spam confusion over and over again until I win or it runs out of PP, which is about to happen. Let's see how many... 10 more moves. I don't think I'll beat it in 10. Uh, I do have to pretty much just drain out the PP. Because there's no way, like, it's just it just heals through the damage. In fact, I guess I should uh, just use a different move. Well, just Scratch. Uh, he's just going to use up all the PP on Soft Boiled. I, 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 haven't, I haven't figured out a way around this, honestly. I was thinking about trying to get Leech Seed. Uh, but level 13 for that uh, Sun Current just seemed like too much work. So we'll, we'll just keep going with this until he stops Soft Boiling. Oh, there's another Soft Boil. Yeah, so this is going to take a while, guys. I, I can't do anything about it, man. What do you guys do? What do you guys do to beat this? Let me know. Seismic Toss doing a lot of damage. Guess I'll go to Confusion. Defense Curl. Going to keep confusing. Seismic Toss going to finish me. Not necessarily a good thing. We'll go to Ducklet. Should be able to do some decent damage with Water Pulse. Might even be able to confuse him again. There you go. Look at that. Confused. Hurt itself. Going to just keep using it. Seismic Toss going to do good damage. He is Water Flying. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, here Water Pulse. Just defense, Water Pulse. Defense, Water Pulse. Dead. Nah. No, easy. Easy game. All right, back to two. Don't want to have it this sped up for the dialogue. It's quite fast. But if I didn't do that, that would have taken the rest of the fucking night. No word to lie. All right, so there you go. 16, Aerial Ace. Definitely. Definitely fucking Lee, man. Water Sport. Hashtag see a Water Sport. Aerial Ace on deck. We do have a very good team right now, man. Team is strong. We're getting fucking loads of experience. Oh, my God. We just got like three levels from that. It's wild. Yes, we lost, but against a worthy opponent. I'm happy for you and your Pokemon, Arno. You make a brilliant team. Congratulations, Arno. As promised, I will take you as an apprentice. There are a lot of things to learn about fighting types. Since you don't have a fighting type Pokemon, your first task will be to train the one I am about to give you. Got a Tyrogue. Interesting. Would you like to... No, get the hell out of here, man. Now, as I'm sure you've learned in your exam preparation classes, Tyrogue evolves into three different Pokemon. I want you to evolve this particular Tyrogue into a Hitmontop. This requires Tyrogue having the same attack and defense stats upon evolving at level 20. Finding a balance between two extremes is one of the hardest things to achieve in life, and it is crucial in becoming an accomplished trainer. 
As for your training in itself, I will let you know when it shall start. In the meantime, you can start by training this Tyrogue. You don't even require any control badge for it to evolve. The EV Training Center should make a suitable trading ground. Sage, I wish you good luck for whatever you shall accomplish in the future. Perhaps our paths will cross again. I hope so. Even though I lost this competition was still one more lesson learned. And I am glad I met Arno as well. I won't underestimate the value of our friendship. Maybe if the Centauri... I, I keep thinking there's an either. Centauri had the same mindset, they would find themselves more allies. Alright, so that's that. Let's see what she says. Yeah, sure. Rematch. Whatever, bitch. Can we go this way? Nah. So we gotta go out the long way. Uh, but that's it, man. I think um, we'll go outside and see what's up. Yes. So that's what she did. She just jumped over the thing, I guess. I don't even know what she did, man. That bitch is crazy, man. Actually, what, what's even... Oh, you can't actually go down there. Oh, yeah, that that's it. Yeah, so she jumped down the ramp. She jumped... Ah, that's pretty nuts. That's pretty wild. She literally... Yeah, okay, anyway. We have no ties with the cause. You are wasting your time. Yeah, right. And those recruitment sessions are only to find new apprentices. That's what you expect us to believe. Sure, let's teach these young lads those fighting battle techniques. That'll be so useful to them, especially since this gym has been closed. When do you expect they'll use those techniques then? Do you think they'll just show them off to their friends at the bar? Huh? Is that what you're telling us? We are practicing the art of battle within the law set forth by your people. We are beyond reproach. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You guys don't have control badges, so you're like practicing the art of battle with unevolved, underlevel fighting Pokemon. That's the funniest thing I've heard all day, and I hear a lot of bullshit. One week. That's as much as I've given you to close to you the city console to close your dojo, or else we'll do it for you. We'll see about that. Don't worry for us. All right, that's it. I'm ending the episode, man. 21 minutes. Voice is ragged, all right? Next episode, we're going to keep moving. Uh, take on some stuff. Do some stuff, all right? But that's it. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know.